Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, right now I want to talk about the performance of the Samsung Galaxy A15 5G. Now one thing I've noticed here in the United States is that um, Samsung put 4 gigabytes of RAM in this device. Now if you buy this phone internationally, you're going to get 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now the reason I think that they did that is because I think people that buy their phones internationally um, keep their phones longer. And I think Samsung intentionally added only four gigabytes of RAM to make sure that people can, you know, continue to buy you know, new devices every couple of years. Because I think if this phone had eight gigabytes of RAM, this would be a complete monster because it still performs really, really well, even with four gigabytes of RAM. But I think eight gigabytes of RAM would put this a device in a totally different class. And um, I think Samsung just wants people to continue to uh, buy, you know, new devices even though you're going to get you know four uh, four years of operating system updates on this device um, a lot of people don't keep their phones that long so um, especially with the trade-in values and the new promotions through carriers every year that come out uh, people like to upgrade their phones here and so um, I think one of the reasons um, that they haven't put eight gigabytes of RAM is just because they know that in the United States people like to upgrade their phones every couple of years or so so Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the Antutu benchmark score. And so here we have 364,961. This is the Virgin 10 uh, Antutu. And um, let's go take a look at the CPU. Now the CPU is 130,432. That's actually pretty good. Um, I think uh, you could you know, go back a couple of years where you could look at flagships uh, that would probably score about that much. So uh, I think you know, three, four, five years ago, this would be considered, you know, a, probably a flagship processor. Um, but, you know, now with all the technology advancements, um, you know, this is now like a budget, a budget processor. So um, I think, uh, you know, one of the reasons is that, um, you know, technology has gotten so much better so that they're putting these budget processors now that could have been considered uh, high end flagship processors from a few years ago into these devices. Um, but anyway, if we look at here, um, the GPU, 61,881, memory, 77,981. Now this score would be a lot higher if this device had eight gigabytes of RAM instead of only four gigabytes of RAM. Um, how does this all translate into a real life performance? Well, the RAM basically is gonna keep uh, apps active in the background. And so let's go ahead and open up a few apps and um, let's go ahead and do that. And then uh, let's see how well it's gonna keep them in the background. All right, so I'm just gonna just open up a few apps here and let's just see how that works. All right, um, let's go Facebook. All right, now let's go ahead and open them up again. See, see if it has to reload. All right, see, well, it's still not bad. Not bad. All right, let's see, Facebook. So it's holding it in the background. Um, so for the simple stuff, you're not gonna have an issue. Now let's go ahead and try to play a game here. All right, I have this game here that I downloaded, Hockey All-Stars. And uh, let's see how that's gonna play out. Now I'm a very big hockey fan, so let's go ahead and start this game up and see how long it's gonna to take to load. All right, let's go and, uh, now you can see that the speakers are pretty good. They're loud. All right, let's go here and, uh, I don't know, we just could go to uh, playoffs. And then we we'll just go play one game. All right, we just, they just play a regular game. All right, let's try that. I'm gonna put the volume down a little bit. All right, let's see here. Now it's actually loading, but it's 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 not bad. I mean, it's this is a pretty pretty heavy game. So let's go ahead and play this game here. Play for a minute. So I take it I'm gonna be the. Uh, the other team here. All right, so I'm the brown team. All right. All 
Oh man, I almost got it. Now the frame rates are decent. It's not really stuttering. And I have everything on maximum. All right, let's see here if I can get a score here. I'll, I'll play until I can score here. Oh man. Come on. Let's go, come on. Oh no, they're gonna score on me. Oh, ooh, almost. Come on. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, almost had him. Uh, Puck frozen. Alright, so this is a pretty watered down minute. So it's a 20 minutes, but it's really like one minute. Alright, let's see here. Anyways, you guys can see that the throat that they, you know, this is a playable game. And the frame rate's not bad. All right, let's just see if I can do anything here. All right. All right. Well, anyways, I'm going to exit the game. So, so you can see that the game is playable. So you can actually play some games. I haven't played any, uh, you know, I haven't played other games. But uh, as far as this game is concerned, it, it plays. So um, I know a lot of you guys are, you know, um, heavy gamers. So, I mean, I'm not saying that this is for a someone who's a heavy gamer but i'm just telling you that you can play this game without having any issues another thing i like to do is i like to um what i've noticed is you know since samsung one ui is kind of a heavier skin um i've noticed that if i change my uh i'd like to change the skin here on this one so what i do is i downloaded a different launcher and it's kind of like a stock android and you can see that it's called hyperion and you can see that it's it's kind of smooth when you're you know scrolling up and down. So if you don't like you know the Samsung One UI, you can always change the launchers. Um, you still have the edge panels, which is great, um, and then you can just go back to the regular launcher. Um, now, also um, one thing is that um, I think with the four years of operating system updates. Uh, you know, if you buy this phone, you're going to be fine. Um, that's more than enough. I think, I think before Samsung used to offer three years of operating system updates. So I think that is a, a major plus. So like I said, everything else about this phone is pretty good. Um, like I said, the, the, the screen is the best part of this phone. It's not going to, uh, you know, I, I can't stand for some reason. I just don't like regular, uh, LCDs anymore. <laughs> now I just need to have a phone with an AMOLED. And I think the AMOLED is the selling point of this phone. I think if the screen wasn't so nice on this phone, I wouldn't recommend it as much. But I've been so impressed with it that uh, the screen in itself is why I really, really like this phone. Um, and it's a 1080. It's not a 720. So the screen is fantastic. Um, like I said, there's a few things that uh, can improve. You know, for example, I think the camera can improve. But at the, at the same time, the camera is not all bad either. So let's go ahead and take a picture of my cat here. So you can see that the camera is not bad, but that's the perfect lighting conditions outside. And it's clear and it's a nice picture. So um, outside, you're going to have no issues taking photos with this phone. Um, but inside, you know, of course, you're going to have some, you know, some low light problems. But all in all, man, like I said, it's a usable camera. It's not the best. It's not the worst. Um, this is a good phone. And um, I'm going to go ahead and um, my next video, I'll probably do a comparison with this one and maybe the A54 5G. But for now, I mean, I think you guys will be impressed with this just for the price point for $200. And what you're getting on here, you're getting an AMOLED display. You're getting decent performance. Um, you're, you're getting four years of operating system updates. You get a SIM card slot for expanded expandable memory that you don't get on a on a device that costs a thousand dollars you're getting a headphone jack and um and you're getting a really nice design now you might get some fingerprints on here in the back but that's fine you can always put a case on i got my case i'm gonna slap it right on and um yeah, call it a day and this is a beautiful case. This is like a magnetic case. And it's really, really nice. I think it was only like six or seven bucks. And boom. And that's it, man. 
So anyway, guys, if you guys like this video, subscribe down below, leave a comment. Until next time, talk to you later. See you soon and stay blessed.